Promises Promises opening on Broadway, on the Broadway, in the Broadway theater. <laughs> we love this show. We both saw it originally and we both thought, why has nobody done it before? But I guess we were waiting for Sean and Kristen and I think that's a good enough reason. Kristen, I think, is probably the best musical comedy performer out there. It's one of the best musical performers out there. And uh, Sean, I can't wait to see. Rob Ashford, the director. It's a great show, which I've always been intrigued to see how, uh, you know, what it'll be like. I've never seen it. It's, it's going to be, I think, hysterical. I'm not sure, but just because they are who they are. I'm a huge Sean Hayes fan and love Kristen. I'm so proud of her. And uh, it's such a, a great, I've never heard a Burt Bacharach song sound like that. You know a Burt Bacharach song instantly. It's, it's such a, a, a signature sound to what he does, both as a, uh, a composer and an arranger. I'm a huge fan. The great thing about Bird Backrack is that his uh, he's got his own sound, you know. And I think this late in 20th century music to, to have something so identifiable is, is pretty hard to do, considering music's been around a while. Are you happy to have your music back in a Broadway theater? Yeah, you bet. Absolutely, you bet. So I'm looking forward to it. I don't know this musical at all, so I purposely didn't listen to anything just so I could go in like you know I know like Turkey Lurkey and I know a couple of the, you know. Anywhere the turkey lurkey is being danced, I will be. I've, got, I've traveled the world looking for productions of Promises, Promises, explicitly for the turkey lurkey. It's my first time being at a Broadway opening, let alone um, producing it. This has been a joy. This has been one of those projects that's just love for everybody. I'm really good friends with Sean. I got to work with him and Rob Ashford, so I'm thrilled to be here tonight to support them. And, uh, you know, it's a little tough to get out on a rainy Sunday. Sunday night, put on the clothes and get the garb on, but now that I'm here, I'm really thrilled that I am. Uh, I have so many friends in this show, Sean and Kristen, Katie Finneran, uh, a lot of the folks in the ensemble I know from some of my shows, uh, and of course Rob Ashford who directed it, so, uh, uh, and it's a, a great chance to see a show that uh, gets done never. Everybody's been talking about it, look at the people in it, look at who wrote it, look at who did the score, it's going to be a great Broadway night. Neil Simon and Hal David here tonight. I mean, to get to work with these legends, they're still with us and we still, and they said tonight, they said, if I might be so bold to repeat what they said, it's better than the original. We're very, very proud of it. They got everything right. They got the songs right. They got the comedy right. They got the warmth and the heart right. I had a great time. I was, I was glad to be there with Bert Bacharach and Hal David, my wife, myself. Well, I wasn't crazy about myself, but <laughs> no, I had a great time. I just think it's a great piece of writing, and I love the music. And to make dances to that music was so thrilling and exciting. First of all, Kristen Chenoweth. I'm in. She's the biggest star in Broadway. So uh, I feel honored and lucky to be sharing a stage with her every night. Every night I go down to watch the scene with him and Tony Goldwyn. Uh, when they sing It's Our Little Secret. And Sean's uh, physical comedy is so genius. It's just so much, it's been so much fun to work on with Sean. Sean has great ideas all the time and is, you know, hurt his neck doing somersaults on the couch. I have the utmost respect for anybody in this business. I wanted to see what it was like. I wanted to challenge myself. I wanted to see what doing eight shows a week was like. And um, I'm having a blast and it's entirely because of the people involved. It's a huge show. It's in a huge theater. I think they're going to be blown away. I do. So far, all the audiences we've had have just gone bananas. And I think it's going to continue to do that. I think even if you don't know the music, it's so catchy. I think it's just so exciting. The minute the, the curtain goes up and the dancers start dancing the, the orchestra, the orchestrations, orchestra? What? The what? Make up a word. You're, it's your night. The beginning number where they do all the little tunes. I love the score. I mean, it, it's, it's 
it's crazy. You have those incredible ballads, and then you have those great little fun, it's our little secret, and a young pretty girl, and it's so varied, but it all works. It's hilarious. The music is brilliant, and the songs that you know and love, and, um, uh, and yet it's really about something, you know, because everybody struggles with being heartbroken and trying to find the, the you know, love. There are still women who fall in love with the wrong, the wrong guy. I think there's still the wrong guy that is trapped between wanting two different things, and there's still people that want to move up in the world. It's it's today's themes. I mean, it's it's a theme that will last, themes that will last forever. That's why it's not really dated. The jokes are still hilarious, to me at least, um, and, and, and to all of us, it, it's, it worked, and we wouldn't have done it if we didn't believe in it. So we, everybody believed in it from day one. You know, the audience really loved it, and I felt very good about it.